that you're a French speaker or you're a great gardener or you're a great chef or you're, or, 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 or whatever it may be. Yeah, and okay, these may not be skill sets that are monetizable to millions and millions of pounds, but you know, I really believe there isn't that there is no one out there who doesn't have some kind of skill set that is something that they could charge other people to do and very much enjoy their life doing doing at the same time. Uh, I mean, I mean, t tell me, I, just just one quick one. I was going to ask a minute ago. Um, it, w when you joined, when you joined, uh, as, well, not sorry, when you became headmaster in two thousand three, uh, you, you you talked a minute ago about how ev everything is about getting the right people, you know, school or hospital or business, uh, which yeah, you know, couldn't couldn't agree with more. And you know, it, it's some something that I'm, uh, I guess, you know, it's probably spending fifty percent of my time with at the moment in terms in terms of trying to change cultural problems that we've got which is i'll blame myself for allowing them to become ingrained in the past you know for, for probably not uh, not understanding the importance of it historically and then also also you know then, then spending the rest of my time trying to recruit the right caliber candidates but when you came in um i mean did, did did you feel there was some house cleaning to do then to to to, to get the vision that you wanted or uh, you know uh, um, or did you did you bring certain people in or, or you know did you have a quite a job on your hands you know ch ch changing you know the, some of the existing mentality and culture to, you know, to, to fit your bigger plan and bigger vision yeah, no, re really interesting question, Matt. Um, so the first thing you've got to do is is um, understand the existing ethos of, of and culture of, of the institution, um, because otherwise you, you're going to have a bumpy ride, aren't you? If you're going to try and change everything, then you, you can lose the whole thing and you can lose the confidence of the people you're working with. So uh, immerse yourself in the culture. Uh, try and understand what makes it tick, what makes people... What, what attracts people to it in the first place because if you alienate your core supporters then you haven't got anything to 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 work with after that so um so it's a it's a it's a mix isn't it of um understanding and respecting what is there already and then overlaying it with with new ideas and giving it a new direction and with 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 me i was very lucky um uh, i i i spent a year researching the history of the, 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 the school, what was there before the school was became a school in 1923. And so I was able to pre present to the, um, uh, the common room and, and the, the governors and then the parents what I thought the future for the school might look like. And, and for me, it was um, liberal, progressive, humane, um, based on equality, diversity, inclusion, um mentoring and nurturing excellence wherever it could be found um i wasn't that interested in whether the excellence was in the classroom or outside the classroom whether it was music drama art or or, or sport that you know find something that you're good at and and run with it and everything else will, will fall into into shape you know because one, once you start feeling good about success and and you, you're getting people saying you know matt you know that was a, a fantastic piece of art or that was a a great game of rugby then you start feeling good about other parts of your life and, and success breeds success and you can then translate some of the um the dispositions and attitudes that you've developed into other areas of your life but you've got to have one thing going well and and i defy anybody to show me a child that isn't good at one thing or isn't interested in one thing um, and sometimes with boys, you know, it, it's gamifying um, academic success. You know, they're, they're, they're you know, used to um, uh, challenging each other online. So you then use the language of games and bring it into the classroom. So they begin to get, you know, success and metrics which measure success, which they can understand. Um, but it's, it, it's getting under the, um, the skin and finding out what gets somebody out of bed in the morning you know for you it, it's the um the challenge of um getting a business and revitalizing it and finding somebody that you you believe in and that you can help and and that's not that different from what i'm doing we're quite, I mean, we're, quite so we're kindred spirits 
<laughs> well, it's so so true what you say, and uh, you know something. You know, I, I spent a lot of time talking about you know more so last year uh, when when we were kind of in in the depths of Corona and people you know people were losing their jobs or or, or worried about whether they were going to lose their jobs. And I was I was trying to talk talk to a lot of people about you know the the importance of even if you weren't going to set up your own business uh, to to have have secondary income streams um, and you know people's default you know is always oh well the, the, there's nothing that I could charge for or there's nothing I'm good enough at or the, or, or, the, or there's not, nothing I like enough um, but you know you know, very much like like you say you know, you, you defy someone to find a child who's not good at something you know, in, in, in real life you know also in, in adult life rather you know we, we've all got the skill you know a skill set in something you know whether, whether that is you know uh, that, you, that you're a French speaker, or you're a great gardener, or you're a great chef, or you're, or, or, or whatever it may be. Yeah, and okay, these may not be skill sets that are monetizable to millions and millions of pounds, but you know, I really believe there isn't that there is no one out there who doesn't have some kind of skill set that is something that they could charge other people to do and very much enjoy their life doing doing at the same time. <laughs>